Candidates, a top issue for Granite Staters is housing. At the federal level, what can you do on Capitol Hill to alleviate this crisis? 45 second answers first to you, Ms. Novoletsky. First, we need to get interest rates down by stopping some of the spending, this excess of spending and get uh, interest rates down. We also need to have um, block grants that come to the states and let the states figure it out through HUD. But also we need to look at the green energy uh, mandates for building. We need to stop um, mandating energy codes for the building, uh, international building codes because they estimate between $7,500 and $30,000 uh, $30, that adds to a cost of a house with a return of $1 to $200 a year. That's a 35 to 75 year payout on the low end. We need to stop looking at these green uh, initiatives. Mr. Bright. Block grant sounds awfully democratic to me. Anytime you start giving people money that adjusts the uh, supply and demand. The housing problem in this country is a supply and demand issue. And you have to understand how it works. The average age of skilled labor in this country is 55 years old. And for every five that's retiring each year, only one is going into the trades. We are going to have an even bigger problem in a couple of years. So instead of helping people pay off their student loan debts, why don't we focus on getting more people into the trades and starting to address some of the actual microeconomic um, levers that are, that are contributing to the cost of housing in this country? To you, Councilor Prescott. Thank you. During my time in the state Senate, we balanced budgets again by weighing our, our needs and our wants. But what that will signal to the Federal Reserve is that they will see that we're serious about getting to a balanced budget so we can take care of the needs of our country and not overspend. The balanced budget in uh, the United States is 6% of our GDP. In New Hampshire, at the time that I was there and corrected it, it was 1% of GDP for the state. We corrected that in one year. It's reasonable and feasible that we could correct the balancing of our budget within six years if we did 1% at a time. Also, once we do signal that the, uh, the Federal Reserve that we're serious about cutting our, our budget deficits, what will happen is the interest rates will come down and the Federal Reserve will do their job to spur the economy and that will help housing in affordability. This, this Biden administration is loaded with idiots. I'll let 10 million people come into your country. Don't worry about housing. Don't think about housing. We already had a housing problem before in four years ago. And then they decide to let 10 million people in. You wonder why you have a housing crisis. It is the federal government's responsibility to provide the money and take responsibility for low income housing. Manchester has five or six buildings that are senior for our seniors. That, that is based on their social security or their income and the, the are, they, are owned in, they are owned and operated by the federal government. They have the money, they have the authority, they have the know-how, and they have the experience to do that. They need to do it, not only in Manchester, but across the state, and they need to do it everywhere. Low affordable housing for our seniors and veterans needs to be taken care of by the federal government. If I get down there, that'll be a priority for me.